Welcome to the Beanstalk Children's Garden. My name is Ben Sharda, I'm the Executive Director, and we are just so excited to have you here. Come visit our beautiful garden here in Swope Park. Here at Kansas City Community Gardens, we are passionate about helping people grow food. And we do this by providing seeds and plants and making it affordable. For about $25, a family can grow about $500 worth of produce. We have over 150 varieties of seeds and plants that we provide at low cost, about a third of the cost of what you'd see at a garden center. So our focus is low-income households and community groups. And this is from people all over the metro area. We're also just trying to make it as easy as possible for families and help them be successful. So we are providing education, we do workshops, we have lots of online resources. We actually have tilling service. We'll go out and till up gardens in people's backyards. We have rental plots. If lots of families don't have garden space at their home, they can come to the community gardens and rent their own plot for the whole year. So since the beginning of the pandemic, we have seen a huge surge in the number of families wanting to garden. In 2020, we had about 740 new families who had never gardened with us before sign up for their own gardens. And then this spring, we had an increase of about 44%. Overall, we're serving about 3,000 families, close to 3,000 families, all over the metro area, helping them to have their own gardens, and we're providing support for them as well. My name is Juanita Miles, and this is my home, and this is my backyard garden in Grandview, Missouri. For several years, our friend Roger would bring us vegetables and produce every season. Um, he would bring tomatoes, cabbages, onions, garlic, and he would provide those things, zucchinis, and all of those things to our home. And every year he would encourage me, you need to start a garden, I can help you, I can show you how. Start a garden, Kansas City Gardens could help you. And every year I would tell him, as our family was growing, we actually moved into this neighborhood with just me and my husband, and now we're six children in, and um, our neighbors have all stayed the same. And Roger is like, I can help you. And I'm like, it's just too much work for all me and my kids. I have to focus on this and not do that. And then the pandemic hit, and it really made me think about what it looks like to actually be sustainable, um, supply a few things on my own that I don't have to go to the grocery store for, um, and my kids love fruits and veggies. So it was one of those things where I'm like, maybe I could do this. And right after Mother's Day, it was actually Mother's Day weekend, my husband brought all the dirt I needed for the garden, and me and the kids came out and planted all of the plants. And so from there, here we are. I really love gardening with my kids. They really enjoy being outside and in the garden with me and getting dirty right alongside of me. So I get up before they do, <laughs> so that I can have some quiet time and actually get the gardening done. <laughs> and then when they come out after they wake up, I let them pull the weeds, pull the leaves that's gotten in the garden. Our neighbor has a cottonwood, so then they go around and picking all the cotton out of the garden. Um, they like to count how many things we have. Um, when our strawberries were in full bloom at the beginning of the season, they would rush out to see how many strawberries each of them could find off the bush. Um, they love kale and I had an abundance of kale this spring and so dehydrating the kale into kale chips was something they could do on the own. They could come out, clip it, stick it in the dehydrator and have kale chips by lunchtime. My name is Sharon Brown and we're in the uh, Kansas City Community Garden up on Kensington. This is my second year. We say last year was our trial run and we learned a whole lot last year what to do and what not to do so we were anxious to get back at it this year we have three different kinds of peppers three different kinds of tomatoes and just a couple weeks ago i had planted garlic last fall we dug up the garlic and planted sweet potatoes and last year was a really good time with all the covid shutdown and everything uh, my husband and i had been used to going to the gym pretty regularly and that was gone and there was not much to do so we dug into the garden and 
and it was quite enjoyable. I gave away tomatoes to the whole neighborhood, I think, and okra to anybody who would take it from me. I've enjoyed it, and um, I never feel, I never feel like the new kid on the block. Everybody is so friendly and helpful. Miss Ella and Roger have been a big help to me with ideas of what to do with what. <laughs> and it's fun because the difference between these and what you get at the grocery store are just, you just can't even compare them. My husband said they're fake tomatoes that you buy at the grocery store because they look beautiful on the outside, but then you cut them open and they're just yellow wood. Where these are so flavorful and we certainly ate fresher last summer. We are so excited to welcome all the new families that were inspired to garden this year. 2021 was also an exciting year for all of our other programs. Community Partner Gardens enthusiasm has skyrocketed this year. We now have 307 community partners that are doing gardening across the metro area. Some of these were new, some of them were ones that restarted from last year, and some of them are ones that have been going for many, many years. So we provide them with all the resources that we do for low-income families. So think of like seeds, plants, vegetable plants, but also tilling. We also do a lot of technical assistance where we'll come out and look at their sites, help them figure out what they need, figure out water, all the things you need to have a big community garden. Just like Community Partner Gardens, our Give and Grow program continues to expand its network. Last fall, we actually planted our 200th community orchard. And right now we're up to 211 throughout the city here. And a lot of those are reaching their full production potential already. And we're estimating eventually they'll be producing a total of about two and a half million servings of fruit each year. It's been a challenging year for schoolyard gardens, but we have been excited to see their passion for gardening stay alive during the pandemic. We had over 200 schools that managed to still engage their students in gardening. Some of them were just gardening you know, regular like they were before the pandemic. Other ones were doing virtual online gardening, lesson plans, we've done a lot of videos. Some of them did like take-home gardening kits. Take-home garden kits included pots and soil and seeds where children could plant their own lettuce plants and other greens. They had incredible luck just being able to do their own little garden at home, which is exciting for their families to be involved too. This last summer, our staff spent a lot of time in the field helping schools get ready for gardening. Some of them were overwhelmed. They had to put their gardens on hold, but we helped get them cleaned out. They planted, and schools are actually gardening this fall for the first time in over a year and a half, and it's just very exciting to see. Finally, we come to the Beanstalk Children's Garden, where we're standing now, and it has been so exciting this year to have students back in here for tours. June and July were both packed, with school buses showing up from summer day camps, Kids getting to see all the wonderful things that happen here, tasting vegetables and enjoying this beautiful garden. We are excited to have people come to the Beanstalk Children's Garden this Saturday for our annual fundraising event, the Gardens at Sunset. Right now, there is so much enthusiasm and momentum for gardening here in Kansas City, and your support is making this all possible. When you come to the event, you'll learn more about our programs, but also get a chance to meet our staff, talk to gardeners who are gardening in the field, and learn more about what we do. If you can't attend our event, you can make gifts to us online. You can also give through the online auction. For more information, go to the website gardensatsunset.org. Thank you for joining us for the sneak peek of the Gardens at Sunset, and we'll look forward to seeing you on Saturday night here at the Beanstalk Children's Garden.